Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm taking a look at Gallium OS 3.0 which is a Ubuntu based Linux distribution which is designed specifically for Chromebooks. Um, there's a couple ways you can go about installing it. Um, you can do like onto a USB or you can just partition your drive using a script from chrx.org which is what I've gone and done. So by default it will create a user. Oh we've done the wrong thing there. Yeah, by default, it will create a user chrx with the same password, um, and then we can add a user and then delete that one and then go through. So it's um, as I say, it's an Ubuntu-based distribution designed specifically for your Chromebook, and I'd, it uses the it looks like the XFCE desktop environment to me. Um, so let's just have a little look around. I've never used this before, um, but I think it's probably the better way to go about getting Linux running on your Chromebook as opposed to sort of Crouton or the Linux apps that are sort of in beta still. So let's um, let's set this up for general use and have a look around. So I'm going to move my panel to the top. Oh, touchpad was a bit weird there. Right, so let's go to panel preferences and we'll just chuck this up to the top. Let's unlock that panel. There we go. All right, let's lock that back up. So it's based on um, upstream Ubuntu 18.04 long term stable release. Um, so Gallium OS update, let's go through what's installed and then we'll open a few things up and take a look at it. So in your accessories you have Compton which is your compositor, mouse pad, text editor, Funa is your file manager. In graphics you have Restretto image viewer and simple scan. Internet you have Chromium for your web browser, multimedia comes with MPV media player, pulse audio for your volume and audacious. Office, it doesn't really come with any office suite out of the box, but that's a simple install of LibreOffice. Um, comes with the Synaptic package manager and GDB package installer out of the box. So if you downloaded a dev package it would have like a GUI for you to open it up and install. Okay, cool. Let's um first of all let's just delete this user and make a new one so let's just do it oh I'm not quite used to Chromebook keyboards it's been a while right let's go into our settings manager okay let's just type in user accounts or something or not session and start up am I being blind Hmm, accessibility, nope. There's user accounts. Ah, users and groups. There we go. Right, so let's create a new user. Okay, um, let's make a password. Um, and let's click OK. Right, let's log out and then log in with this new user account. Log out. <clears throat> OK, so hopefully that's all gone through as it should. Perfect, now we're going to give ourselves pseudo privileges. So I think the root password's that. No. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the other account because I think that's got pseudo privileges. One second. All right, let's go back into the default account. Let's open up a terminal. Uh, chrx right I think that's all gone through so now we should be able to use sudo on the other account so let's log back out and then do what we was meant to do so it's quite snappy actually um, it's a lot nicer than using crouton and it's nice just to have it sort of separated if you like on its own partition okay now let's remove that user account that you came installed with so let's delete and hopefully 
we have administration yeah we do so let's delete the files as well done okay cool so let's I'm gonna show you all the um, keyboard shortcuts work as it's designed to work perfect that all works as it should right let's move our panel back to the top items oh sorry lock panel and let's just bring it back to the top okay so there's no, let me just install htop and see how much RAM we're using oh what's going on here do 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 let's do an update quickly temporary failure Ah, we're not connected to the internet, that's why. <laughs> okay. Right, let's uh, do that again. And what we'll do, we'll do an update as well to see if it can fetch any updates for us. I'm going to probably use my Chromebook a bit more now, actually, that I've got this. I don't know why I didn't do this a, you know, a while ago. Okay, there's no updates for that. So we're using five... <coughs> sorry about that. We're using 501 megabytes at the moment. We haven't really opened anything up. So let's open up a few things now. Let's close this window for the moment. So, Gallium OS update. I want to see how they handle their updates. Pseudo app QQ update. So let's go through this process did it take the password yes sudo apt full upgrade so nothing to upgrade there so that's all good do they have a software store apart from synaptic no so you can install your packages through synaptic as well or you could just install the um, Ubuntu software store or something This software, blah blah blah. Let's close this not to show at startup. Right. So I'm just going to open a few things now and see how it handles it all because this is not a good Chromebook either. This is quite an old Chromebook, but it does have a HD screen. So let's open, um, let's install LibreOffice Writer. Oh, I hate these keyboards. Let's do a no install recommend as well. So it's taken about 24 gig of my. Uh, that's because we've got Synaptic open. It's taken 24 gig of sort of the internal storage on the e EMMC or whatever it's called. There we go. So it's found that. That's about 295 megabytes worth of packages. Right. So as we s we've got Chromium web browser. I quite like the theming here. What theming is it using? Look and feel. Appearance. There we go. So it's using Arc Gallium OS. So it's just sort of like a Arc customised theme designed specifically for Gallium. So let's go into the Arc Dark and see how it all looks. Very nice. So we're going to have to go into the Windows Tweaks as well. Window Manager Tweaks. No, wrong one. We just want Window Manager. Uh, that's not bind to the um, Chrome search key, so we might want to do that in a moment. So Window Manager, and then let's go to Arc Dark. There we go. Now what we want to do is we're going to want to keep. We're going to want to assign a shortcut for this button here, and you want to want to use the Chrome sort of search key. So hopefully that's fairly straightforward, and it's already got it in there for us. So let's go to Keyboard. And then go to application shortcuts, whisker pop up menu. Here it is. So let's change that to just super L. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's close that one. And how are we getting on with our install? Right, what I'm going to do now is just reboot. Okay, and we are back. So let's just enter our login details and then we'll quickly open up HTOP to see what we're using at boot.
So we are using 440 megabytes at our boot, so under 500, that's pretty good going. And we've installed LibreOffice Writer and we've also installed GIMP. So that's kind of the most part of Gallium OS. Um, so it, as I say, it's an Ubuntu-based distribution designed specifically for your Chromebook, so everything should sort of work out of the box as long as it's a supported model, which you can all go and check. And if you'd like to do it the way I did it, um, very simple process would just to be go to chrx.org and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions and the sort of commands you need to use. It's um, very easy um, and it will just partition it and then at boot you can choose how to look sort of control D will boot into Chrome OS and then control L will boot into Gallium OS. Um, so as I say it's the XFCE desktop environment but I'm sure you can install different environments if you so wanted to. Ah, app grid. So I've just seen they do have a software center so let's have a look at that before we wrap open sort of wrap up the video. Oh, I can't quite see that f writing there. Okay, so here's their store. You can sign in. So maybe they have some, maybe it remembers your packages. I don't know. So, yeah, you can sign in there. The font, I can really not see the font on the laptop screen. Hopefully, you can pick it up on that screen. It's not the best screen. So it has categories, arts, games. Let's just go into productivity okay um, and let's look for just a random package let's just click on Abbey word which is a word document sort of a word processor um, and then to install it you'd click that hmm, I'm not too sure I like this software store let's type in the password Does it tell you how far along it's going? Okay, it's at fifty percent. So let's see if it's got snapping. Yeah, so it's got um, Windows splitting side by side out of the box, just two way out of the box. I can see for the moment. So has that installed that program now? Let's go into App Grid, and let's launch it from here. There you go. So that's been Gallium OS. Um, if you want to sort of give it a go yourself, as I say, it's very straightforward um, and you can always recover your Chromebook if you don't like it and you're, you're pretty safe, really. So if you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.